everyone, Sarian here. Welcome back to Coffee Talk. So, in our last episode, our old friend Officer Georgie dropped in. Apparently a vandal got to his car, no storming like crazy. We were also introduced to Lucas, an online influencer. I don't know what kind of influencing he does, but he's a... Uh, he's an interesting guy. And Rihanna, a banshee who wants to be more recognized as a singer. But some online commenters were hitting on her singing videos just because she's a spectral entity. I think Lucas and Riona got off on the wrong foot last time after they had a disagreement on how people should go about being recognized for their talents. Anyway, it's a new day. The storm has passed, for the most part. It's time to start a shift. Let's continue. Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. Okay, what do we got? The future of dating? How AI may steal your potential mates with increasing sentiency. Oh yeah, that's what you should be looking out for. Those sexy, uh, lips. Looks like a, a Furby. Uh, Morris Lester's conviction stands after appeal rejected. Oh, Mor Mo Lester strikes again. The controversial motive behind an ex-fire agent's investigation. A deep dive. Pretty sure that was the agency going after our friend Neil. Looks like they're, um... Uh, looks like they're drowning in controversy now. Whatever. I just noticed that drawing of Rachel in the background. I don't know if you saw that. The weather seems better tonight. Hmm? Welcome. Hiya! Oh, hello sir. Back so soon? Hell yeah! And there's nothing you can do about it. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> no, good to know. He's so smug. <laughs> Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Kind of? Maybe? Huh? Okay, I knew it was a long shot, but... Low-key? was kind of hoping the lady from yesterday would be here again. High-key. What are you saying? Oh. Hey, you're my first customer today. I can see that. I know it's silly. I mean, what are the chances, right? I just want to apologize properly, I think. I'm still not sure what came over me. <laughs> but never mind for now. That's not the only reason I'm here anyway. But dang, spicy boy. This place is really empty, huh? Right now, yeah. That's about right. The regulars typically, typically show up around uh, two or three hours from now. Yeah, Pops too? You mean Officer Georgie? Yep, he's a regular, right? Right. Not every day, but he does come around that time as well. I see. Then wouldn't it be better to open a few hours later? True. But new customers tend to drop uh, drop by around this time, like you. <laughs> you got me there. Either way, it works out for me. Because I'm here to do some work. What? Oh? I might be on hiatus, but I still gotta post a bunch of stuff. So, got some editing to do. If you need a power outlet, there's one near the wall under the table. Sweet, thanks. However, there's no Wi-Fi here. What? Spicy boy, come on. What? What is this, the Ice Age, right? Okay, I'm with Lucas on this one. Maybe that's why this place is so empty. Maybe. I'm joking. At least your brand game is on point here. Brand game? I mean, this place is called Coffee Talk, right? So, I thought you'd say something like... We're all about talking, not surfing. Or something like that. Honestly, I never thought about it that way. That sounds legit. Sure, why not? 
in that case, you can transfer the tagline lo royalties to the link in my bio. <laughs> the licensing fee is free, since you're so cool. Uh, thanks. I'm joking. Anyway, guess I better get a move on over there, huh? Uh, one seat. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now I'm ready to place my order. And I'm ready to take your order. What would you like to have tonight? Hmm. I've got to stay fresh and awake. So, maybe a cafe latte? Oh, no, wait. Can you make me a custom drink? Like, a cafe latte with lots of honey. I mean a lot of honey. Like a whole beehive of it? Well, I remember tasting more honey than milk. So, might as well. Can you try making that for me? I'll uh, do my best. Great. A cafe latte with lots of honey, please. Do we have enough spaces for that? Uh, well, our base is coffee. Um, our primary ingredient. Oh, I see. Well, that'll be honey, and then milk. Hopefully, that's that just means there's more honey than milk. I don't remember how this works. Bean Buzzy. Okay, that's a new one. Uh, I guess there's already a latte art on it, right? Uh. Oh god. Um. I'm trying to make a bee, but it's, uh. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, that's horrifying. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I guess, I guess we can just go with it. Oh, dear God. Um, there you go. Here we go, lots of honey. Thanks! You even made it look so fancy. <laughs> Glad you like it. Now, time to give this a try. Cheers. How is it? Super! This is exactly how I remembered it. I'm glad it's to your taste. Actually, it's not. What? This is too sweet, even for me. But it's something I drank a lot back in the day. Ah. Gives you lots of energy when you got nothing else to eat. Huh. What is it? So you have them in place of meals? Kind of, yeah. I didn't have a lot of spare cash back then. Heck, I couch surfed a lot. Until eventually, I moved into my old group's house. But anyway, yeah. Sure takes me back. Hmm. What is it? I was thinking maybe that's the reason you can't handle coffee anymore. You think? Yeah. As much as I love coffee. Drinking it to replace meals isn't really recommended. Even with lots of honey? Even with lots of honey. And milk. Milk too? It all turns into acid in your stomach. That's how you get gastritis. And the like. Oh. So, not great if that's uh, all you had. Right. That makes too much sense. What a bummer. Sorry. No, no. He just solved one of my life's biggest mysteries, probably. So, thanks for that. As long as it helps. Now I can't look at being buzzy the same way ever again. Hello there. What? I know who this is. 
Oh shit! What a nice surprise. A long time no see you two. <laughs> Hi, spicy boy. It's been a while. How you been? Uh, we were in the area, so we thought we'd stop by. I'm glad you did. Right. It's not like you two were trying to change the subject or anything. Oh, it's not like you two were trying to change the subject or anything. Uh, what does she sound like again? It's not like you two... It's not like you two were trying to change the subject or anything. It's not like you two... You were trying to change the subject or anything. It's not like you were trying to change the subject or anything. Oh! Hmm? What's going on? Look, Aqua. All I want for y is for you to reread their terms carefully. A and I just want to know if you'll still help me if I accept. I mean, it's all just hypothetical anyway, right? The way you're talking about it doesn't reflect that. And it really bothers me. Um. Uh, okay. I admit, maybe I got a bit too excited about it. But putting that aside, I just want to know if you're in this with me or not. But because I'm really feeling it this time, Myrtle. I really want this game to be out there. Although we're not even halfway done with it, yet. <sighs> and about the terms, I mean, who knows, Myrtle? Maybe those are just what I need. To, to, to motivate me to work harder. And we can complete it. Motivate, you say? Heh. <laughs> That's just pure recklessness. You know that. Aqua, I know you're not. Uh, look. Let's just give it a rest for now. Okay? Um. Trouble in paradise. Okay. It seems like Aqua is maybe signing on with a publishing company or something for her game. But I don't think Myrtle agrees with their terms and conditions. Hmm. Awkward. Ahem. <clears throat> oh! Uh, hey, you spicy boy. Hello? Sorry you had to see that. No, no, it's fine. We were in the middle of something. Sorry for the hassle. It's really, really fine. Honestly, I'm just glad you're both here. After such a long while. So, can I get you anything to drink? Y yes uh, just give me a moment, um... Take your time. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Uh, I love a spice milk tea. Spiced in what way? Some cinnamon would be good. Or whatever you think is better. Okay. Have one spice milk tea. Alright. We can... Our base is... How do I make a milk tea, actually? Milk tea. Okay. Well, I guess I'll get, I gotta discover it first. I'm guessing the base would be milk, maybe? No. It's tea, milk, and spice. Shia Denny. This is it. Uh, one Shyadeni sashaying in. Thanks. Enjoy. How is it? Good. I think you nailed it. Glad to hear that. Uh, did you say Shyadeni? Yes. I put a little cardamom and other spices in it. Just so it lives up to the spice part, at least. I see. I suppose you tried it because of the documentary I told you about the other day? 
Yeah. Watched it yesterday while pulling an all-nighter. It sounded interesting, but I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> I, I guess I'm ready to order too. Certainly. What will it be? Um, I see you have new tea selections on the shelves. Are those butterfly pea flowers I see? Yeah, good eye. I've had them before. Pretty often, actually. Especially in the office. How do you like it prepared, usually? Uh, I like it best when brewed with a lot of mint. Could you make it that way for me? Sure thing. Then, I'll have a blue pea tea with lots of mint, please. Alright, blue pea tea. Uh, yes. Lots of mint. Now, what will this make? Aqua's Tranquility. Very nice. One specialty coming up. Thank you. It looks nice, doesn't it? I was gonna comment on that. The color reminds me of the sea. Yes. How is it? It's really good. I'm happy you like it. When I feel very anxious, I often make this tea. But usually I put a little sugar and lemon salt in it too. Really? Yes. <laughs> so, what's next? You're gonna try that salted butter tea too? I thought you were the one who's gonna try it, Myrtle. As if. I couldn't even begin to imagine how that tastes. I wonder how different that'd be from just using plain cream. Salted butter. Huh. Still, no one the salt. I told Myrtle about a documentary on hot drinks around the world the other day. They had a lot of strange recipes. You should try watching it too, Spicy Boy. Who knows? It might inspire you to make us some new drinks. Hmm. Sure, sounds interesting enough. What's the documentary called? Overflowing Warmth, Comforting Beverages Around the World. The name sounds plain, but the content can be a bit unique. But it's got plenty of normal drinks too. I'll check it out later. Thanks, Miss Aqua. You're welcome. And now I'm ready to tackle the night. Works piling up. Yes, but it's fine, really. I just need to free up some time so I can work further on my game. Your game? Oh, the one that got showcased at G... GX something? Is it Gaxpo? Uh, right, Gaxpo. That's the one. Cool. I hear it's hard to get showcased there. So, you must be really good. Oh, no, no. I mean, um, I couldn't have done it without Myrtle's help here. Hmm. For real? You got, like, an insider entrance or something? Uh. Dang, that didn't land, Lucas. <laughs> Oops. Sorry for butting in. <laughs> One of my crew members is super into gaming, so I hear about it all the time. Anyhow, uh, don't mind me. Please continue. Hmm. She got interest from one of her favorite publishers. Is that so? Hey, yes. At, at Gaskbo, one of their reps came to my booth on the day Myrtle couldn't make it. I had to stay behind in the hotel to fix a mess in my company's files. Hey, yes, it was too bad. I was really nervous on my own. Anyway, the rep and I talked about my game a bit. They seemed interested, and there was talk about publishing my game. Ah. At, at the time, I thought they were just being nice. <laughs> but they actually emailed me a draft of their contract last week. It sounds like great news. Uh, am I wrong? 
well, I was ecstatic at the time. They're one of my favorite publishers, after all. Right. But, not to break the non-disclosure agreement or anything. This is a safe place. The terms weren't too great. So you do get it. And, by the way, you haven't signed any NDA yet, so you're not bound to anything. That's true. But I still want to act in good faith. What for? Their terms were the furthest thing from acting in good faith. If I may ask, what terms are we talking about here? I'm sorry, I'm just a bit lost. Uh, right, sorry about that. To sum it up, they're going to invest in the game and cover all the necessary expenses. They'll do the marketing, promotion, distribution and all that. Okay. But if I'm unable to meet the deadline, or refuse to adhere to their request for changes, or breach any of the stated agreements in the contract, many of which are rather questionable. How questionable? I must return all their money, regardless of my progress on the game. What? Well, I mean, it's a contract. You can negotiate that. What? And it won't be cheap at all, mind you. I can only imagine. If I fail to do so, they have full ownership of the game. That's... That doesn't make sense at all. No, you shouldn't. Shouldn't do it. I'm with Marta on this one. <sighs> I don't know what to say. That can't be right, can it? So, what if they are the ones who breach the contract? I get to keep my game. Okay. That's it? Oh, no, that's not all. I'll have to return any of the unused investments, too. What? That sounds like a lose... a lose... lose to me. That's what I said. Pardon me, but are they for real? I said that too. There's still plenty more, but uh... It's alright. I think I got the gist of it. When I first read it, I thought... Maybe the terms are this way because it's still a draft. I suppose, yes. I also thought maybe it was something that could still be worked out and discussed. That is... Until I asked Myrtle for advice. I see. It's a trash contract, Aqua. I know, I get it, but... It's just, I, ke I just kept thinking, you know. What if this is how all the contracts are? What if this is the best I could get? It's not, though. But what if... Will you still help me, Myrtle, or not? Uh, is that really what's important here? Right now? Come on, Aqua. I know you're not this dense. Oh. It would be nice if you heard what I'm actually saying, and not what you think I'm saying. What do you mean by that? Sorry, just a second. Oh. Oh, I, I I think I better go. I have to help prepare a report for a presentation tomorrow. All right. Are you going to be okay? Yes, I think so. How about you, Myrtle? I think I'll stay for a bit. Oh, okay. Then I'll see you around, spicy boy. Bye, Miss Aqua. Safe trip home. What is she thinking? <sighs> Are you alright? Yeah. I just got so frustrated when she kept asking me hypothetical questions. Hypothetical questions? Such as? 
She asked if I'd still be willing to help should she accept something like this in the future. What kind of question is that? It's as if she doesn't trust me. Or anything I say for that matter. I don't think it's because she doesn't trust you or your expertise. I think you're onto something, spicy boy. I think she just lacks confidence. <sighs> From her perspective, everything feels like a potential chance. So, to be faced with a questionable contract like that. From her favorite publisher, no less. She may very well be just feeling a little shaken up. That's a good point. Uh, but I'm with her, right? She has nothing to worry about. Even so, she may still worry. If she's that worried, why don't you say something like, of course I'll help out, but only if the terms aren't so crappy. That should do it, right? <laughs> Unless you did and she's not convinced, then I don't know. Hmm. I thought... If I tell her that... And she decides to go ahead with it anyway... I know for a fact I won't be able to refuse her at that point. Ooh, I see. He's so awkward. <laughs> Besides, we already agreed from the start to only work on the game when we have the time, so... Basically, you're not sure if you want to commit. What are you talking about? Of course it's not that. Things change when you start involving money in anything. Well, can't really argue with that. Uh, I know how some of these companies work. They're looking for ideas from the small guys. And find a way to pluck things they want from the project, then trash the rest. No respect for the effort whatsoever. That publisher may be one of her favorites, but that doesn't mean they're a good company. Especially with that garbage contract. Really shows what they truly are. Right. <sighs> I really like working on with her on the game. I honestly do. I love hearing what she wants to tell with her game. We're also not bound by some brand company rules or anything. So brainstorming ways into, to incorporate our ideas into the game is interesting and more enjoyable. A good change from what I do during the day as a game designer. Right. I just want her to understand that I'm just worried about her. All valid reasons. Yeah, Spicy Boy is right. What are you talking about? Though I wonder, did you say any of that to your pal at all? What? Why would I do that? Why would you not do that? Not to be creepy or anything, but when I overheard you guys... It's creepy. Right, sorry. So, me being creepy aside... Obviously, you thought a lot about this, but like, if all you talked about was how dumb the contract was, and not any of what you just said, whew. if I were in her position, I'd feel pretty bummed too, because I'd be wondering if my partner still had my back, you know? Like, if they even care at all, because sounds like the project is her baby. Just like you said, working relationships don't mix well. So, it wouldn't be far out if she worries about all the same stuff you do, right? Uh. Mm. <laughs> uh, now, having said that, I feel even more like an ass about what happened yesterday. 
hindsight is really 2020, huh? Hmm. I... I guess it could come off that way. I just thought it would be a given she'd understand where I'm coming from. Maybe, but maybe I'm taking things for granted. It's me who didn't trust her. And I just didn't want things to change. <laughs> Embarrassing. Some friend I am, huh? I'm leaving. Alright. I hope everything will turn out well. <sighs> we'll see. Have a safe journey home. Yep. Goodbye. Uh, oh, bye. Lucas, you gotta work on reading the room. Come on, man. Ooh. What a night. And <laughs> I didn't get anything done at all. That's too bad. Was that like a regular occurrence here or something? And not them specifically, just like in general. Well, you seem used to this, so the answer is definitely yes, right? Not all the time, but often enough. Cool, cool, cool. So, that's the real reason why this place is called Coffee Talk, huh? You make people talk. I, I do? Well, feels like this whole place does. Heck, even I talk about myself a lot more than usual. That might just be you. Which is kind of weird. But also weirdly cathartic. I'll take that as a compliment, I think. You should. It's a feature. I reckon there's more benefit from take talking things out without having to get smashed first. More embarrassing to remember, sure. But great for self-reflection. Good point. Anyhow, uh, before I forget, could you hold on to something for me? Huh? A fidget spinner with a social media handle printed on its back. Uh, a fidget spinner? My old business card. Jesus Christ. If the lady come from yesterday comes again, can you give that to her? <laughs> You mean Miss Riona? Yes, Riona. I mean, I owe her an apology, you know? And I couldn't find her online with just her first name. If that's even her real name. I'm sure she'll love it. Yeah, she'll love it. I thought maybe you could pass that along with my info to her, so she can DM me? Also, in this form, it's uh, likely less likely to get thrown out, right? Uh, right? It really depends on the person. An influencer's contact info for a certain someone. Thank you very much. Do you think she'll, she'll throw it away? Honestly, I can't really say. Oh, now you're making me nervous. Can you give it back? I might need it right now. Uh, sure. No, it's fine. Keep it. I need to keep my resolve. How about writing down your email instead? It will feel a bit more personal that way. You think so? I thought you'd be more comfortable about contacting me if it's, uh, less personal. That's why I figure her DMing me would be better. But then again... <sighs> mm -hmm. Nah, you're right. A direct line would be better here. But what if she throws it away? At least you'll have it sincerely tried. True that. Alright. I'll trust your judgment, spicy boy. A piece of paper with Lucas's Tomodacho username and phone number written on it. Okay, so can I keep the fidget spinner? Why is it on the edge? 
In that case, could you please give it to her when the time seems right? If she even comes back, that is. I'll see what I can do. Alright, sweet, thanks spicy boy. You're the best. Uh... Aw oh, man, I better go before the rain gets worse. See you around, spicy boy. Don't work too hard, okay? Thanks, safe trip. Take care. Ooh, what a day, what a night. All right. I wonder if Myrtle and Aqua ever started dating yet. They seem to have a lot of chemistry. I don't remember if they did in the last game. They're probably, maybe they're just pals. Ah, they're just friends. Pals and gals. Anyway, we'll leave the episode here for today. So I think Lucas might be a regular now. He's, uh, he's pretty awkward. But, um, even though he's very intrusive, he did make a good point about Myrtle needing to share all her feelings about the contract and working with Aqua. Oh, well, it's good to see more familiar characters pop in, and I hope to see more soon. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please remember to take care of yourself today, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.